I watched a movie the other day. I think it was called Shooting for the Moon, something like that. It was a, about a certain part of the life of the poet Elizabeth Bishop. If I got it right, shooting for the moon is absolutely the right thing to do. Go all out. But when you do that, you're not going to get there. And that failure will lead to your self-destruction. So along with being right, it's also a very dangerous thing to do. You should maybe think twice about shooting for the moon. But it can be very hard to resist. A poem by Elizabeth Bishop framed the movie. It's spoken partially at the beginning and in full near the end. The name of that poem is One Art. I have come across it before. It is about losing things. And since I've been writing about people getting lost, it is of a particular interest to me. Because when you lose things, if they're important to you, vitally so, you run the risk of getting lost yourself. In order to guard against that, a person will avoid attachments to things and to people. At the beginning of the story, Elizabeth Bishop is alone and lonely, rather miserable, and not really producing as a writer. She begins to travel, thinking perhaps it might be a way to kick-start herself somehow, and she finds herself in South America, where she, in truth, does find herself. She falls in love, which ultimately turns out to be both wonderful and catastrophic. And eventually, tied up in all of that, she writes this poem about losing things. At the onset of the poem, what she loses is trivial, and she reports that it doesn't have any effect on her life. Life, after all, goes on. What she loses gains in impact as the poem progresses, until she is losing cities, rivers, and a continent. Yet she insists that it's no big deal. The, the end comes when she loses someone she loves, and still, though haltingly, she says it doesn't matter. As in the old saying, thou dost protest too much, we understand that she isn't telling the truth. She's shattered, she's lost. The poem is in the form of what is called a villanelle, which means that certain lines are repeated in specific places, and the rhyme scheme goes round and round, like an echo. This is a highly structured form, but you would not be aware of that if you were listening to someone read it. It sounds very casual, almost offhand. The inherent contradiction of tight structure and loose intent is in keeping with someone losing things and saying that it's no big deal. A villanelle is the last place you'd think of to find a theme of carelessness and loss. I think that's why she chose it. Bishop's father died before she was one, and her mother was sent to a mental hospital when she was five, so she knows all about deprivation. She was one who avoided all attachment as a means of protecting herself from loss. Then she found love, and it led to fulfillment and ruin. Two words resonate, especially in the poem, master and disaster. Bishop is the master of her world until she falls in love. In love, you are not the master, which leads to that other word, disaster. The poem keeps saying that each loss, even as they mount, is no great matter. One art. There is the art, if you will, of losing things, which is easy to master. Any fool could do it, and it's no disaster. And there is the art of getting over a loss, which can be impossible. Impossible to get over, impossible even to admit. It can be difficult to catch the note of sadness in this work, but in the end, it's a funeral dirge. One art. The art of losing isn't hard to master. So many things seem filled with the intent to be lost, that their loss is no disaster. Lose something every day. Accept the fluster of lost door keys, the hour badly spent. The art of losing isn't hard to master. Then practice losing further, losing faster. Places and names and where it was you meant to travel. None of these will bring disaster. I lost my mother's watch. And look, my last or next to last of three loved houses went. The art of losing isn't hard to master. I lost two cities, lovely ones, and vaster some realms I owned, 
two rivers, a continent. I miss them, but it wasn't a disaster. Even losing you, the joking voice, a gesture I love, I shan't have lied. It's evident the art of losing isn't hard to master, though it may look like, write it, like disaster.